So there is a little setback. Um, got my van broken down up in Norfolk, and uh, I got pretty much all my tools and stuff in it. I got my camera stuff, but usually I power my time lapse cam camera from uh, a power bank, which is in the van. So today I can't use my time lapse camera gonna make it a bit difficult because I'm gonna work on the X60 again and uh, I can only film what I'm doing at the moment I can't do a time-lapse because I don't have the right equipment for it but I still try to do something and um, I hope I can make a good video out of it so uh, what I'm gonna do I walk you around what's happening here and we go from there well, I must say I jumped into the future a little bit. Yesterday is just uh, I didn't have the right stuff to film and etc. etc. So I carried on with the day. End of the day, I'm here to get the job done, not to make videos. Um, however, I'm gonna be more organised for today. I uh, managed to uh, prime the beats yesterday, which are off the machine. So I got this side door. It's the front toolbox, front cover on the field tank, another door, and that's the top of the machine over the engine bay. So I've got these done, it's already primed, they're already dry, they turn out very well, no dents, really straight, very really happy with these. And I got the heater on full web because today. I'm gonna prime the whole lot, which is uh, it's pretty tricky to mask a, mask a machine up, probably. I mean, yeah, well, if you really want to do a proper paint job, you take the machine into pieces, even more than that. I mean, the arm is in the way for the cab, so that's gonna be a tricky one. Uh, we decided to not to paint the whole arm because we purchased this uh, arm brand new, so the paint is pretty good on it. So, it's only gonna touch up where I've been welding, and uh, there's some knocks here and there, like one there where it's been uh, moved around in the yard when it was off the machine. So, you're gonna have to touch these up, and uh, I'm gonna carry on masking, keep the heater on because we need the temperature up here. It's nice and sunny outside, so mainly is the condensation I want to get rid of here in the workshop before we get and um, start painting. It's only priming, so uh, it's gonna be sanded again a little bit, so I'm not worried about it too much when, uh, when the actual, actual paint orange goes on it. I will be a bit more careful and uh, make sure I can make the proper job out of it. Uh, I only got this little compressor. It's not really the right stuff for that. But I've got motivation, so uh, there should be enough for that to get it done. It's awful to mask the machine. I'm using these magnets to hold the paper or masking paper here and there. It just works much better. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. And once I primed it, the whole lot going out, and we're gonna change the slurring before the actual paint. So it's gonna be fun. And now I'm gonna set up a time lapse. I'm gonna cover up the boom somehow. Uh, we gotta move out the Scania. The Scania got a brand new paint job on it, professionally done. So that's a stunning example about how it's done properly. So we're gonna take this out of here. We don't want any, or any overspray on there. I'm gonna cover up the grider. And uh, I'm gonna cover up the tracks. The whole undercarriage is going to be covered up and I dammed the floor here 
make sure there's no dust and we're going for it I painted these ones, I primed these ones yesterday and they were dried up nicely and I even send them I send them down so they're ready for paint and I done that one today primed a whole lot except the arm I did prime those little dots for the pipe oh and I primed the pipes as well they are just laying there and I, uh, we have to wait for this to dry completely. You can touch it now. Uh, but to send it back, I think it's to need a 24 hour. This isn't came out uh, very bad at all, considering I'm in a dusty shed. Um, overall, I think it's pretty good. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Poor camera has got freaked out because there's nothing to focus to. Um, yeah, so done, a, done the cab everywhere. All primed. Ready for the final coat. Now that was the trickiest bit. But well, managed to get it. Very exciting. I don't know if you notice, there is no foot pedal on this, so we're going to modify this, they're coming off. We're going to fabricate foot pedals for that. Loving it, it's going to be awesome when it's done.